Hi guys, for today's video we are going to be looking into what makes you sparkly. And we have three piles today, one, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. If you guys enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. All that stuff helps me out and thank you so much for all the support you send my way. I really appreciate it. So, let's get started with pile one. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> Pile one. What makes you sparkly? Let's see. She Wolf, unleash the wild within. So, by sparkly, I am talking about, you know, when something's just so sparkly and shiny that you gotta stop and do a double take. This is like what people notice about you, what people see about you from your energy and how it shines brightly all around you. You're definitely somebody who's capable of unleashing that wild side inside of you. You do not keep yourself caged. You're a very free and independent person. You're very childlike. I didn't even realize there was two of the same bouncy balls in here, but they both came out. You're very childlike, very free, very opinionated. Very bright, shining, um, colorful. You are definitely not somebody that's going to tone it down for anyone either. You're wild. A wild rose. Every rose has its thorns and you know that. And you have your thorns and you wear them proudly. You're not somebody who's going to hide away your thorns. You know who you are. And you know that you are beautiful. And if people really want to know you, they will be able to work past the thorns to get to what is underneath. What are you thinking? A thousand miles away, always. Try living with it. So, you could be somebody who daydreams a lot. You could be somebody who gets lost in thought a lot. You could be somebody who is, always has a thousand things going on in your mind at any given moment. <clears throat> you may really surprise people with what is going on inside of you if they ask you what you're thinking about because you got 50 things going on all at the same time inside your mind. Virgo, that makes sense. You may be a bit of an overthinker as well. Very intelligent, very logical, very rational. Um, you could also be somebody who has gone to school for something or has a degree in some sort of field. Maybe with computers, technology, psychology, something along those lines. You could be somebody who reads a lot as well. You may actually get very lost inside of a book when you open one up. You're somebody who's very peaceful. People may also really love to watch you when you're sleeping as well. Especially if you're somebody who thinks so much because it's like all the thinking is gone and you're just at rest, at peace when you're sleeping. You are so open-minded. You can talk about anything with anyone. You like exploring other people's perspectives and ideas. So you're very open-minded, very non-judgmental. You really like to explore different topics, different opinions, different thoughts on different things. You love to get into the mind of others and explore their ideas, their perspectives. You really love to listen to people talk. So you are definitely somebody that enjoys um, hearing people speak about what they think, what they feel, how they understand things or see things. You really enjoy the differences and people imagine beauty that was tempered into perfection so rare are you beaten down by this world over and over again but never being overcome by its cruelties so a couple months ago I did one that was what makes you shine and the diamond pile is the one that ended up with this card so you shine like a diamond. You are a diamond in the rough. You are somebody that um, people really feel like has gone through a lot. And regardless of everything that you have gone through throughout your life, you are an amazingly beautiful person. You have never allowed all those things to tear you down or weigh you down. So Rock Forever is the song that's coming to mind. So theme song for you, So Rock Forever. 
You eat healthy and make healthy decisions in your life. You're someone who loves and cares for yourself in all the right ways. If you need space, you take it and you give the same freedom to others as well. You're not somebody who's clingy, overly needy, greedy with people's time, attention, energy. You are somebody who um, allows people to be free and you are somebody who demands that freedom as well. You are not going to let anybody tie you down or chain you back, chain you down or hold you back or anything along those lines because you're somebody who really appreciates your freedom and you are somebody who gives that same freedom to others. Definitely a force to be reckoned with in this pile. You enjoy life's pleasures and you are great at living in the moment. You make others forget their worries and their cares. You bring life to others. Stuck and stagnant energy doesn't stand a chance with you around. So you're somebody who really enjoys living life. You don't like to just be a part of life. You like to be involved in it. You help people to forget about their worries and their cares. The bare necessities is coming to mind too. It's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities of life. You bring life to others and there is no stuck and stagnant energy around you. You are definitely living your life and you inspire other people to live their life as well. So, let's see what else we have. You're very responsible and confident. You're a leader and you lead by example. You stand out and shine. You are meant for the spotlight. You're very balanced in your masculine and feminine energies as well. So you're somebody who knows when to act and when to stand back. You're somebody who knows when to go with the flow and when to fight against the grain. You're somebody who um, embraces and accepts all the aspects of yourself, shadow side, light side, soft side, hard side, cold side, warm side. You're definitely responsible, confident, strong, and you are somebody that does not expect anybody to do anything that you can't do yourself, which is a part of leading by example. My mom used to always tell me, <laughs> do what I say, Danielle, not what I do. And then, you know, when it came to my younger sibling, she's like, well, lead by example, Danielle. Oh, but you're not supposed to lead by example, mom. Wait a second here. But, you know, that's also how I learned to lead by example. <laughs> Loon, intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust you in your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and you are loved. So you're somebody very unique. You're somebody very loved. You are somebody that really has a very busy life as well. You have a very busy life. And um, some extra solitude and alone time may actually help you. You have a very strong intuition and you definitely are able to read people very well, I feel like, as well. Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Temperance. You've gone through a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sadness, a lot of loss. But regardless of all those things that you have gone through, you have been able to remain stable, steady, strong. You have really um, taken all the lessons of life that it has had to offer you and you've overcome them. You have been able to, um, all the extremes you've gone through, you've used those to fine tune yourself into the person that you are today. And you know that without all those experiences, you would not be used. So you would not change any of those experiences for the world. You're very blunt, very straightforward, very honest. You cut to the truth of a matter and you speak your truth. Even when it hurts other people, you have a tendency to speak your truth regardless. Because you know that the truth hurts far less than a beautiful lie will in the long run. And so you are somebody very honest, very open, very communicative, very intelligent, um intuitive as well, but rational and logical, very free, independent, fierce, and definitely somebody that is a force to be reckoned with. You have definitely connected with your inner child as well, and you have been able to heal any of the wounds that you have that have held you back in the past. You are now overcoming, growing, learning, and moving forward at a very rapid pace, and this is part of what makes you sparkle and shine so brightly to the world around you. <clears throat> 
So that's what I have for this pile. And if you guys enjoyed this reading, I would love to hear what you guys thought of it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through, um, all those kinds of things. And thank you guys so much for all the support you show my channel, whether you like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that super thanks button. All those things that you guys do are so amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. I just got to 3,333 subscribers yesterday, and I am so excited about that. It has been a long road to get here, and I am so grateful to be here. Anyway, thank you for being here watching, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. Ooh. So, what makes you guys sparkly? You're definitely a shapeshifter, able to really shift, change, grow, learn. Um... Someone who's able to be what's needed in that time or in that moment. Deschutes Brewery. What makes you sparkly? A lot of people may want to give you gifts or something like that. A lot of times when people meet you, they could feel like they knew you were coming you could also be somebody who knows when certain things are coming and you may actually even mention some of the signs <clears throat> synchronicity synchronicities and messages that came up beforehand you're somebody who brings a lot of hope a lot of faith a lot of joy you speak a lot about things that bring positivity love light hope peace joy you're very protected in your communication. You're very confident, strong, and stable when it comes to communicating as well. And you're somebody who um, is very equal with what you give out compared to what you receive in return. You're somebody that um, may sting people a little bit with some of the things you say at times. You could be very mysterious as well. Some people may actually be very intimidated by you, especially when it comes to your speech and what you have to say. <clears throat> or because they know if they fuck with you, karma's going to come and deal with their ass. Karma comes calling. You're a very peaceful, loving, joyful person. Very intelligent as well. You have a very strong mind. You may come off as a different type of person on a pretty regular basis as well. Like you have many different sides to you. A very small amount of you might actually have DID. Done, finished, over, no more. You're somebody who is able to cut things off when they need to be cut off. You're someone who's able to walk away from shit when people are um, backstabbing you, gossiping about you. When people are treating you very poorly, you're somebody that's going to walk away because you care more about the peace in your life than you do about having people that are no good around, people that are no good for you around. <clears throat> you are a true earth angel. Your energy and aura are amazing. You spread so much peace and love. You are so caring for our planet and everything on it. And I love that the peace and love thing came out, the picture along with that. So you're definitely somebody who spreads a lot of peace, love, light, joy, and happiness to this world. And at the same time, though, you have very good boundaries and you are very good at standing your ground and standing up for yourself when you need to. And you have no problem cutting people off if it means protecting the peace and love you feel inside yourself because you know that you can't be the person that you need to be or want to be if you have that around. You are so powerful. Your presence is seen and felt. Your strength and power is a force to be reckoned with. Exactly. So people definitely feel the strength emanating off of you. Even though you're filled with this peace and love, they know better than to fuck with you because they know that if you don't stand up and defend yourself, the universe is definitely going to take care of it for you as well. 
pile one was definitely a force to be reckoned with too. Your dedication to your exercise, meditation, or yoga routine is inspiring. You have a lot of self-love and self-respect. Your commitment to self-care is amazing. Keep it going. So you're somebody who definitely puts a lot of time, energy, and effort into feeling good. Into your mental health, into your um, physical health, into you. You definitely have a lot of self-love, a lot of self-respect. You care very deeply about you, and you are going to take care of you in the long run. So you're not looking for anybody else to fill a void either, because you already have what you need. Ram, perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up, and good luck will follow. So once again, you definitely are very intelligent. You are very perseverant as well. It doesn't matter what the world seems to throw on your plate. You're able to take care of what needs to be taken care of and you're able to continue moving forward regardless of how many obstacles show up in your path because you know that obstacles are just stepping stones in the right direction. Direction guardian. Wow, what are the odds that that came out right after I said direction? Choose your path. <clears throat> you have a very good sense of direction. I feel like a lot of you may actually be able to like lay down in a vehicle and recall exactly what turns you took and how you got to where you are and you could lead somebody back there the next week even though you weren't even watching where you were at. You could also be somebody that can always seem to find which way is north, south, east, and west without even questioning it. Or you could be somebody who could, uh, it doesn't matter how far out into the middle of nowhere you get, you could find your way back out of it. You have a very strong sense of direction when it comes to your life, your purpose, your path, what you want to do for you, where you're going, and how to get there. The Ace of Cups, once again with the self-love, Six of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. You are definitely somebody very loving. You're generous with your love, with your heart, with your emotions. You're kind, caring, giving, pure in your intentions and your actions. And you have no problem, once again, cutting off anybody that is not going to give back to you in the same way, that is not going to be honest with you, that is not loving themselves, that is not loving you in the appropriate ways. You're very good with children as well. And this self-love that you have inside of you just flows out all over anyone you come into contact with. You could also be somebody that has put a lot of hard work, effort, time, and energy into um, repairing situations or friendships or relationships with people. You're somebody that works very hard to create peace and harmony within the connections that you have. And you are very joyful because of it. You really feel a sense of accomplishment with whatever it is that you're working on too in your work life or your career life. You are definitely working on something that means the world to you. You have a path, you have a purpose, and you are diving into it with happiness, joy, and beauty. You just look completely beautiful when you are absorbed into whatever projects it is that you work on or whatever it is that connects you to your path and your purpose. So that's pretty much what I got for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this reading, <clears throat> remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. And thank you guys so much for anything that you do that does support my channel. I really, truly appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three for you guys. Let's see what makes you sparkle. Or what makes you sparkly? I really like that song, Sparkly. It kind of inspired this video and didn't mention it anywhere but this pile. So you might want to check out that. You could definitely be a singer or a songwriter in this pile. Or you could be somebody who does a lot of karaoke. You may show up for a lot of open mic nights. Things like that. Your voice is something that makes you very powerful or makes you sparkly. You are somebody that... Um, really has a lot of attention on you when you speak or when you open your mouth. Could also enjoy playing golf. Bartles and James. You could be somebody who enjoys having a drink once in a while as well. You definitely are somebody who brings a lot of sunshine, happiness, and growth. 
you're a very emotional person. Thing that's coming to mind right now. Not gonna drown in the water cause the good Lord ain't bringing me home. So it doesn't matter how much emotional things are going on around you. You are still going to be standing strong at the end of the day. And you are not going to be taken over by it. You're not going to be ruled or swayed by it. You definitely are able to make decisions based on your rational, logical mind. Even in the throes of super emotional times. <clears throat> You're also somebody who may expose a lot. You may uncover a lot of secrets or a lot of things that are hidden. You could actually be somebody who has... A YouTube channel of your own for some of you as well. Some of you could be tarot readers. Uh, some of you could be singers. You really bring a lot of new thoughts, ideas, and concepts to people around you as well. You may expose the actions of others too and what they have done that was not so good. Things that don't want to, they don't want to be seen. Libra. Someone you can trust. Healing heartbreak. one up. So some of you could have actually went through some pretty severe um, abuse, narcissistic abuse for a lot of you. Um, emotional abuse, mental abuse, possibly physical abuse or sexual abuse. There could, there could definitely be a lot of abuse that you have endured in this pile. Things that almost made you a little bit insane. Now the song that's coming to mind is... Uh, I guess you were right. My straight jacket's made with fucking rubies. My straight jacket's made with fucking diamonds. I'm crazy just like Galileo. I can't remember the name of that song, but I finally remembered a few lyrics. But you're definitely somebody who has had to break out of the labels and stigmas that others have put on you in some sort of way. Somebody could have even tried to have you committed at some point. Somebody that you really trusted betrayed you to a very high extent. This person may even be dealing with the law as we speak, or they may be in the near future in some sort of way. Um, karma is definitely going to come calling on this person either way. But you have created a new life for yourself. You have gotten yourself healthy. You have gotten yourself healed. And you are healing your heartbreak. You are stitching that beautiful heart of yours together again. Now that I'm without your stitches, or now that I'm without your kisses, I'll be needing stitches. So definitely you could have been in a lot of pain with whatever this situation was because you never suspected that anything like this would have happened in the situation that you were in, but it did. And it may have buried you for a time, but you have worked your way through it and out of it and you have called your power back to you. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have. You are always on point in your words and your actions. You always have a plan, or at least it looks like it. You seem to have everything together. So you are definitely somebody that tends to have everything together on a regular basis, and your words and actions are something that definitely jive together. You don't just speak out your ass. You actually live up to the words that you express. And you're always on point in whatever it is that you say. So when it comes to talking to other people, I feel like a lot of you have actually talked to a lot of other people about the abuse that they have gone through too or about the pain that they're feeling. And you always know just what to say because you have been in those shoes yourself. You are so power. No matter what is powerful, no matter what is thrown your way, you keep standing tall. Nothing could knock you down. Cheetah girls, girl power. I keep standing tall. I know that we have each other. I can't think of the rest of that song, but yeah, great song. Girl power, girl power. You have very striking features. Piercing eyes, sharp nose, cleft chin, dimples, freckles, unblemished skin, eye color, hair color, hairstyle, dress color, dress style. Whatever it is about you, you definitely make an impression on people. A, fir a very strong first impression. You are somebody who... Um, you may actually have a lot of people who tend to look away when you look at them for too long because that eye contact eye contact can feel extremely intense with you. 
You shine like a diamond. Some of you could have been drawn to pile one because in pile one we got Imagine beauty that was tempered into perfection. So rare are you, beaten down by this world over and over again, but never being overcome by its cruelties. And I actually mentioned that in the What Makes You Shine reading I did a couple months ago, the Shine Like a Diamond came out with that one. So, I did not know it came out over here, though. Pretty cool. Anyway, definitely somebody that has been through so much hurt, so much hardship, so much pain. Um, you have been time and time again crushed by this world around you but no matter how many times you've been crushed all it has done is make you stronger make you more able to withstand make you more able to make it through whatever comes your way i just got a shirt from somebody recently that says the last man standing and then it says on the back that tough it's like tough people make it through tough times. I don't know. But you are definitely a tough person. Somebody who could make it through anything that comes your way. <clears throat> Giraffe. Visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. So, you see things from a higher perspective. You really are able to rise above the earthly matters that are going on around you. You have a tendency to have a lot of grace when it comes to dealing with other people and a lot of that is because you know that you have not always been perfect either you are definitely far from perfect and so you know that nobody is perfect including yourself you're definitely not somebody who is self-righteous or judgmental in any way you're very open-minded non-judgmental um and you believe that everybody has beauty in them regardless of the darkness that is present as well you have a lot of self-worth and you love with a very big heart. Shaman, trust in the higher forces. You're definitely a healer. You are somebody who brings a lot of healing, a lot of love, a lot of light, and a lot of beauty to this world. You're somebody who may be very serious and stoic at times. You're very relaxed a lot of the time as well. I feel like you have been definitely pushed as close to the edge as anyone can come without falling over it. You don't care if things are in the realm of the taboo. You are who you are regardless, and you're going to make the decisions that bring you peace, the decisions that cause you to feel comfortable, the decisions that are in alignment with who you really are. You know what you want, and you have a lot of motivation, a lot of drive, a lot of passion, a lot of inspiration. You are definitely somebody who takes action to go after what it is that you want. You are somebody that really understands yourself. And you have no shame, guilt, or doubt about who you are and what you want in life. You're not going to let anybody convince you you're crazy anymore. You're not going to let anybody convince you you're evil for wanting what you want. You're not going to let anybody convince you of anything that you are doing is bad in any way because you know who you are and what you want and what you're striving for. You also know that nothing in moderation can be bad, but the moment you allow it to become a need that controls and dictates your life, that's when it becomes something bad in your life. So you don't look at anything as bad inherently. You look at things as good or bad, depending on how they're used or depending on how you interact with them. You're very at peace with the decisions that you have made to break free of the chains that held you back and you are on fire and really moving forward, transforming everything in your life and all the situations in your life to create something beautiful for you. And that is what makes you so sparkly. So that's what I have for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear <clears throat> whether or not it resonated, what you might be going through, all that kind of stuff. And if you guys did enjoy this reading, I would love I would love to hear about your story of what you went through with whoever this person was in the past as well. And just remember, the more you share, the more you heal, and the more other people heal because they realize that they are not alone as they might have thought they were. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. All that stuff helps me out, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you who does anything to support this channel. Thank you so much for that, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching.
Bye-bye, guys.